Hey YouTube, thought I'd do a fish room update. Uh, it's been a while since I've done any type of video. It's uh, been a few weeks, been super busy, both with my normal job, uh, the business, AquaticSupportSystems.com, and um, just other things in life. Look at these guys behind you, Cheeto and his woman. They spawned recently, but uh, they ate the eggs the very next day, so that was disappointing. But anyway, I thought I'd do an update here for you. Um, for June, uh, we'll just do a fish room tour. We'll do separate uh, shrimp and separate reef tours as well, uh, hopefully in some upcoming videos here. I uh, wanted to remind everyone, uh, if you need Southern Delight fish food, um, also Northfin or Sarah fish food, go over to AquaticSupportSystems.com. Um, we've got great deals. We uh, sell the Southern Delight fish food in bulk. One of the most popular fish foods out there for large cichlid keepers so check it out um but yeah let's get started with the tour all right so like i said in the intro um these guys did spawn this week uh, for those that don't know or you're new to this channel um this is cheeto the male here and this is his female i do not have a name for her yet but um they are Amphilophus citronellus, uh, common name Midas cichlid. Sorry for the glare on that planet tank in the background. Let's see if I can get that changed at all. Eh, it's not going to work. Um, I was super excited. I came down here one evening and they were spawning. Uh, watched it. Didn't get it on video. Checked the pot the next day and the eggs were all gone. Um, they had eaten them all. Maybe it was two days later. I can't remember. But So that's disappointing. Um, it's been months since they did have, uh, I think, I can't remember if I had one or two spawns um, where it actually made it to free swimmers, but um, never got the fry pulled in time and then they ate the, ate the fry. But other than that, these guys are doing good. Um, really fun to have these guys in the fish room. Um, actually, this isn't the fish room, this is my office. It's really fun to have them here while I'm working during the day. Just look over to my right uh, every so often and watch these guys uh, moving rock around, playing with each other, all the kind of good stuff that cichlids, uh, especially Amphilophus um, cichlids do. Real fun to watch these guys. Um, before we go downstairs, I'll just show you the 90 gallon planted. No real changes there, it's still doing good. Plants are growing like crazy. Uh, if anybody needs either Monte Carlo, which is the carpeting plant, uh, you see how thick it is. I've got an abundance of that. Or else the uh, kind of grassy plant that's on the rock structure, that's Erio Vietnam. Um, I've got some of that available uh, for sale if anybody needs some. Just uh, shoot me an email. Best way to reach me is go to AquaticSupportSystems.com. On the contact section, there'll be an email in there um, where you can uh, get in touch with me. All right, so uh, why don't we go downstairs and check out what we got going on down there. We'll just start over here with uh, Colossus, the flower horn. He's doing well. I was gonna enter him in a local flower horn competition for Midwest Beast at Quality Aquatics here in uh, Minnesota, um, but I had a conflict, um, had a family thing that day, so I couldn't enter him. I would have loved to have been able to see how he could have placed. Um, you know, I was kind of, I think in a prior video, I had talked about whether or not I should enter him, and I had made the decision, I don't know that I've really, that I really told anybody that I was going to give it a shot. First time that I would have ever actually taken a fish from my fish room and brought it to a competition but I was going to give it a shot just to see what it was like uh, but unfortunately it didn't work out I had forgotten that I had uh, a family event that day so but he's doing well um, real nice patterns and coloration on him sorry about the uh, lighting behind the camera that's causing the glare there but down below here is Cheeto's brother. This is another Amphilophus citronellus. By the way, the flower horn is a uh, King Kafa 9.9. This female is hiding behind the pot right there. But uh, no spawning behavior from these guys at all. But just uh, fun fish to have in the fish room. Still doing real well. 
Get some big choppers on him. He looks hungry. Let's give him a little food. Got some uh, Southern Delight large cichlid there. Loves that stuff. Um, over here, I still have this uh, uh, Rio Blanco Moda from Sean Hyden. This is Gino Suki. Um, he's just hanging out alone. He's aggressive as all heck. Usually, I was in there doing water changes last night, and he was just going after the the uh, tube on the python like crazy. But he's doing well. We'll do some shrimp updates separate from this. This is uh, the red magma flower horn. He's also doing well. Coloration's been looking real good on him. He's not as colored up actually right now though as he, as he can get. Uh, we'll go over here to the one Trimac pair. They last night were messing around in here. I can't tell if they laid eggs, but if not, if they haven't, I think they're getting ready to just based on the way they were acting and the way both of their colors are right now. This guy's colors is, uh, colors is, colors are just, I really like it. I like the way the red is, the green is bright, it's really cool. Much better than the other, the other trimac pair that I've got. Um, for those that are new or want to know, these are Amphilophus species. Also, um, they're Amphilophus trimaculatus related, but not the same as the as the Citronellus that I showed you before. But yeah. They're doing well. Um, right here, I've got there's one Midas in there that I basically didn't have a lot of fry that I was growing out right now. So in three of these four tanks here, I just took and put Midas grow out so that I had a fish in there to keep these tanks cycled. Um, but here is some Hadiensis that were born in April. They're getting close to shipping size, but give me another month or two. I get asked more than anything lately if I've got Hadiensis available. So um, hopefully soon. I'm gonna feed these guys for you. What I've been feeding uh, my fry lately are the Sarah Onip tree tablets. I did a video on these a while back. Um, I'll try to remember to link to it, but they're, they're just these tablets that they, what's cool about them is you can stick them to the glass and watch fish eat. Um, I don't do that every time. I just drop like a half one in sinking and then I just watch them swarm on it <laughs> and uh, that's basically what I've been feeding them for right now until they're big enough to take uh, what I'll feed them next usually is the Southern Delight Nano Krill it's a 0.5 millimeter pellet so once they get to be a certain size they can take that and go from there uh, down here are the the uh, Midas Amphilophus citronellus groths that I'm keeping for myself. A lot of them are starting to peel or turn yellowish, orangish, if you will. Um, what I've been doing is feeding them the Southern Delight small cichlid and then switching in with some Northfin Bug Pro every so often. I've been trying this lately and I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually feed some of this just so you can see. If you haven't tried the Northfin Bug Pro, um, give it a shot. We actually do sell it at Aquatic Support Systems now. Um, it's on the website, two different sizes, but uh, just watch how crazy they go for it. You know, these bug, bug foods are kind of the, the new rage. I, we also sell uh, the Fluval Bug Bites, um, which are equally as good. But yeah, they really like it. The only thing I don't like about it is uh, I like, well, I shouldn't say I like foods that float more, but for fish like this at this size, I kind of like watching them eat more at the surface than stuff that sinks so fast like that. But that's neither here nor there because they eat it like crazy. Um, 
And I know a lot of people prefer sinking food over floating because then you don't worry about it getting into um, overflow boxes and stuff like that. But anyway, that is these guys. Uh, let's move over. Sorry, I'm rolling on the chair here. This is the 210 double rack. Um, below is um, my F1 um, Umbi pair. Um, Chrono Harris Umbrifrom, scientific name. These uh, these are F1s. Uh, he is the son of my Wildcat pair Magnus and Beast, which I'll show you closer up later. But his color and freckles are really looking nice lately. He uh, seems to be going through a little bit of a growth spurt. Um, probably would have probably would grow quicker. If I, fit, I, I feed my fish just one time a day nowadays. Um, I know a lot of people feed twice, and I know a lot of people will power feed fish like this to get them to grow quicker, but I'm just letting nature kind of do its thing. They spawned also recently, but uh, either the eggs didn't hatch or they ate them or they ate the wigglers. I'm not quite sure, but they've been kind of playing around lately again, like they might spawn soon. So I don't know. I'm not really too worried about it. I know. After my last couple videos, some people were asking for umbi fry because I did mention that I would try to pull the next uh, the next spawn, and unfortunately, I didn't. Uh, that didn't come to fruition. But if they do spawn again, I'll try to do that. But anyway, this guy's this guy's uh, a beast. So up here now, um, I actually added this really cool piece of driftwood that I picked up at my local fish auction before the auction started i ran into a, a guy actually uh tom from tm aquatics if you're not subscribed to his channel too go do so he's got a great channel he's a local guy here in minnesota with me does different types of fish than i do but it's still a very interesting channel um, anyway his brother was there he was getting ready to list this in the auction and i just said how much and he gave me a price that i was satisfied with so i picked it up and it is now in the tank. I also have another really cool new piece of driftwood that I'm um, getting ready to soak and prepare um, that I got from Cyber Aquarius, if you remember him. He does some videos here and there now again. Scott, a real good buddy of mine, go check out his channel as well. But the Arowana is doing well. The male Moda is doing well. The Midas and then the female. Moda is more than likely right now in this pot. That's where she spends most of her time because the male Moda is pretty rough on her. But um, she comes out when there's food, so maybe I'll see if I can lure her out. Clown loaches are doing good. I did lose one recently. I don't know if it was just to old age or what, but um, there's seven of them right here. I know there's more than that in the tank. Um, let's grab some food. I feed large cichlid in this tank too. Sometimes I, I dump in veggie krill for the uh, loaches, but let's start with the large cichlid here. A bunch of that in there and then I'll put some veggie krill for the loaches and that might draw out some more loaches too, you never know. But, I turned the heaters off in this tank the other day, and uh, it's making the arowana kind of not as active and doesn't eat as much as usual. But uh, as you can see, the arowana does love the large cichlid too. I don't know if any more loaches came out. Oh, and the whole reason I did that was to try to get the uh, the female out of the pot. I don't see that she's come out. But anyway, maybe she's in this too. No. Anyway, I won't spend any more time on that tank. Um, the wild caught umbies, Magnus and Beast, are doing well in their old age. There's Beast. She's a little little nipped up right now, which is par for the course. He's doing pretty good. His nuchal hump lately seems to, it's never gotten back to where it once was in this picture down here. But uh, 
that was when Mike had them. Uh, but it's it seems to be coming back a little bit lately. Let's see if we can get him to open his mouth. Yeah, there we go. This guy's just massive, and you can't appreciate it until you're actually in the fish room and looking at him. But anybody that comes down here just is like, wow, I can't believe how big that fish is. Lengthwise, but then almost more impressive is how wide he is. I mean, it's close. I'd say he's four inches wide, like uh, from side to side. It's really hard to pick up on camera, but... Um, the next tank is the Amphilophus redis latus, again, related to the citra, uh, Citronellus and the Trimac that I showed before. Got a male and female in here, and then I also have a few Savoldi, which right now you're lucky enough to catch in breeding dress. Um, this one here looks super cool with kind of the, I call it the beard. And I don't know enough about Savoldi to know which one of these is the male and female. I'm going to guess that this is the male, but... I don't know for sure. That could be the male too. But anyway, these two are showing breeding behavior. I don't know if they would have a successful, there's a third one, there's a fourth one in here somewhere too, but here's the third one here. I don't know if they would ever have a successful spawn in here with the Redis Latus, but anyway, Amphilophus Redis Latus. This is the male, he's doing real well. Um, these guys haven't shown any spawning behavior at all for several months now. There's a female back here. She's doing doing real well too, but yeah. Um, I'll show you Hadiensis here. They had a successful spawn, which I pulled in April, and then they had another unsuccessful spawn here a couple weeks ago. Bunch of eggs on this uh, piece of rock. Uh, they hatched but I never saw wigglers, uh, which is common with these, they, they hide them. But then I usually start seeing free swimmers at some point and that never happens. So I don't know what went wrong because usually when they spawn, um, you know, I get, a, I get a batch of fry. There's still some that I wasn't able to pull from the April spawn that I've got over in that other tank. Every so often I'll try to go in with a net when they're up front like this and catch a few and put them over in the other tank just to try to get as many as I can pulled from here. Um, but, you know, it could end up being that some of them grow out from this tank and we'll see them as they get bigger in this tank if they don't get eaten. Trimac pair number two. Um, these guys have not done any breeding, but here's the male. The female hides a lot, usually back there or else in the tubes. She's not in the tubes right now, but she, she gets picked on by him quite a bit. He's pretty eager to spawn, and so he's been just kind of rough on her as far as that goes, but not rough enough where she's in any type of danger. And uh, I can get her out usually by putting a little food in there. Or I'm rolling around a chair. It makes it easier to get these bottom tanks when I'm on a rolling chair. Because they're pretty much right on the floor. And so you don't have to get up and down when you're moving. Put a little Southern Delight large cichlid in this tank too. Let's see if we can't lure the female out. She's colored up pretty dark right now, which means she's kind of stressed, but she'll come for some food, I have a feeling here, if I back up a little bit. I'll just film the next tank and see. Um, so the Feste pair, they did spawn here recently. Not a huge spawn like usual with them. There are a few wigglers back here in this uh, pot. They just produce small spawns for me. Very sporadically. I know the prior owner before I got these said that they had spawned for him 
you know, pretty much on, on point every three to four weeks. I don't know why they don't for me. It could have been a change in scenery, it could be different water parameters. You, you just never know. The four Red Hook Silver Dollars are doing good in here also. I should have done some filming when they spawn because when the male is in breeding dress, he just looks awesome. I mean, he looks nice right now, but the colors are just magnified that much more. And so were hers. Hers are still nice because she's guarding eggs, but even they were even nicer. This tank's really scratched up and beat up, so sorry about the glass and the way it looks on camera. But that's really about it for the fish room down here. Um, I'll do a shrimp update. You can see the shrimp tanks in various spots. Um, and then we'll uh, get those videos out to you as well. But until next time, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, again, go to ahoticsupportsystems.com. And uh, if you're looking for fish food or shrimp food, I got a lot of shrimp food on there too that's really been selling well. But uh, go check out the Southern Delight stuff, uh, the Northfin stuff, and uh, the Sarah Own It tabs, everything that we sell. Um, but yeah, appreciate the support. Thanks for uh, anybody who subscribes. If you are new to this channel and you like these types of videos, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And until next time, uh, we'll see you later.